take refuge in the oneness of all things, I take refuge in the individuality of all things, I take refuge in the manifestation of this life. In practice and in life there are two different poles. There's a pole of centripetal energy which pulls things together, the commonality of our life, the oneness of our life, the, the common threads that bring us all together and allow us to function together in a human culture, society, or institution. And the centripetal forces, the forces that have increased granularity, the forces that have increased um, specificity, the forces that of self-actualization, of individuation. <clears throat> and it is vital in any community or any world that we have both of these forces fully in play. We have both of these forces fully in action. In this North American modern country, we tend to emphasize the centrifugal force, the force of self-actualization, the force of my life and what am I going to do with it, the force of what's my skills and talents and how am I going to affect the world and what am I called to do and how do I make myself into the, the person I want to be and that whole movement of life. Very important. Integral part of who we all are in this day and age. On the other hand, there's what is it that holds institutions and groups and communities together? What is it that holds all of these different, unusual people with different agendas and different directions and different demands and different hopes? What holds us all together in the same container? What aligns us? What allows us to have cooperative effort? I was reading recently about polio and smallpox. And when the human world, the scientific world, the political world came together to say, we want to solve these problems of polio and smallpox, they're practically eradicated because of our joining together in a common purpose. On the other hand, if we do not have the individuation, we do not learn our particular skills, and there's no one who can add the magic of being human to that cooperative e effort. So in a spiritual community, we have to have both of these poles need to be honored and recognized brings us together, what holds us together. First is, I feel, is common aspiration. We have the intention to cultivate clarity. We have the intention to cultivate kindness. We have the intention to cultivate wisdom. We have the intention to cultivate mutual respect. We have the intention to live together sustainably. We have the intention to uh, cooperate cooperate together so that not only we all benefit, but everybody who comes to visit us will benefit. We have the intention to recognize the wholeness of our life and to invite people to recognize the wholeness of things. Simultaneously, there has to be a recognition and a, a internal movement of what makes us unique. We all wear different clothes, most people. We all definitely look different. We all have different aptitudes, we all have different skills, we all have different sensitivities. So how do we have a, a container that holds differentiation? Differentiation can't hold the container, it has to be the other way around. That which is whole can hold the fragments, can hold the parts. So at least the way that our particular community works, is we come together with these vows, we come together with the aspiration for awakening, the aspiration to be a benefit to our culture, or our world, and with that aspiration, we have the, the well, container, we have the uh, circumscribed 
region in which people can flourish, in which people can find their own area of skill, when people can, can find what is it that's alive in them and then learn to cultivate that, learn to offer it. So in a way, it's like a university. A university is a container that allows many different kinds of education, many different kinds of individuation. And here we are a spiritual community, and in spiritual community, it has the common denominator, what is transcendent? What is unified? What is one? And out of that oneness comes the many. So the many then become a reflection of the one. But it doesn't work the other way so well. If we're all fragmented and going off in our own directions and there's no uh, centripetal force, then many things can't be accomplished which could be accomplished if we work the other way. The centripetal forces are the foundation, the centrifugal forces as the expression. So, my concern, my hope is for everyone, wherever you are, is to see what organizations, institutions, what things you can join, align with, work together with, for the benefit of all beings, and then do so in a way that is in harmony with the particular nature, the particular flavor of being that you are, that offers the particular skills you have. And in offering our particular skills, in offering our particular flavor to the mix, it changes the mix. The mix becomes a richer, fuller, more complete.